Hi, we're back again with Come Cook With Me. My name's Jerry Taylor. Um, today we're going to be talking about hash browns. Just simple, quick, um, easy way to make them. Um, what we have is our grater, which we're going to be using. And we're just going to do one potato for now. And items you need, stainless steel bowl or just a regular bowl that you can put your potato or your hash browns in so you can season them properly and hold on to them. And of course your grater and a nice hot pan. Um, with the pan, I went ahead and added some um, some oil in it. I use olive oil, of course. Um, and I'm going to turn it on as soon as I grate it and get ready to season it. We'll go to that in a second. So, first thing you need, go ahead and peel your potato. And remember, even after you peel it, even if it starts to discolor a little bit, that's fine. It's just the air hitting the uh, potato itself. It's not going to hurt the potato. And I like to try to grate it straight into a bowl. That way there's no mess to clean up. And just keep going until you get the whole potato grated and we'll come back and continue on. Okay, now as you're grating a potato, as you get down to the last bit, you want to open your hand because these things will cut you. Open your hand and just put your hand on it and finish grating your potato. That will, that's just a safety precaution to make sure that you don't cut your hand up. And we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and once we have it all grated, um, we want to season it. What I have here is just a ramkin with salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder. And what I like to do is just sprinkle it on. And then after you sprinkle it on, just take and move it around and sprinkle some more. Just to season the um, hash brown up from the inside. Therefore, just like anything else, you got to season. And that should be pretty good, right there. And now, we're going to go ahead and have our stove on. I'm going to put it on high just to get it nice and hot to start with. And I'm going to just give it a few seconds, maybe up to a minute or so, to get nice and hot. And then I'm going to start adding my potatoes for my hash brown. And we'll go from there. We're okay, well, now that we got the pan nice and hot, you just take a small handful or just a regular palm size handful of your potato and you place it in there and just press it down and you grab another one and do the same thing now these are going to cook and when they get nice and toasty on the bottom, which is they're going to turn nice and brown, uh, that's when the, the starch is going to release from the bottom of the pan. And you can take in this, use your spatula, and you can tell when it's getting close. So as these cook, we'll come back and check them. You see on the back side, it's already starting to cook the potato underneath. So as it's cooking, yeah, the starches and everything will make the um, hash brown release and we can go from there and we're taking finish it up in just a few minutes okay we're back and make sure you have plenty of oil in that pan it's almost like deep frying them in a sense but you can lift it up and tell when you got it the nice golden brown and just flip it right over and do the same to the next and remember to always keep the oil in the pan. If you use a stainless steel especially. And of course I like to use olive oil. And I'm just going to add a little bit more oil to the pan. Now to keep it from sticking. Keep it from burning. And just rock it. And they're just cooking along. Now, as you're cooking hash browns, there's a couple ways to do it. The way I'm doing it, they're going to be nice and solid, hold together. And there's other places that do them loosely. Now, if you do them loosely, if you want them to kind of fall apart as you serve them, then you want to soak them in water. And then whenever you bring them out of the water into the pan, they, they just don't hold together as good, but they still cook all the way through. Now, these are getting really close to being done. I'm just going to check this one. Look, looking nice. Feeling good. Looking, smells great. And we'll be back when we're ready to plate it and serve. Okay, we're back. They are just about done. I went ahead and shut it off. They're sitting there ready to come out of the pan. And I plate them. 
We'll just bring them over just like that. Okay, now here we have our plated hash browns and they should be seasoned nicely. Now if you want to add a little bit of extra salt and pepper, you can anytime. And your hash browns are done. You can see inside they're nice and cooked mush. Uh, not mush, but nice. The starch is cooked out. They're nice and hot. And of course, mmm. It tastes great. Just a simple, easy way for you to make hash browns at the house. And again, this is Jerry. Come cook with me. <laughs> it's okay, I can cut that. Anyhow. And of course, I have no fork to take and taste it with, so... We'll check that out in a second.